kitchen. Now you guys probably know from a recent video that I uploaded onto the channel that I'm expecting a baby in the next few months and the last few weeks have just been taken up with getting everything ready for his arrival. Now when it came to planning this week's video I definitely still had babies on the brain and I thought it would be a really cute idea to show you how to make this sweet little pair of baby booty or baby trainer cake toppers. Okay, let's get started. So the things that we're gonna need, first of all, I've got some modeling paste. So I've got some white modeling paste and also this turquoise color. Now I've just mixed some of the jade color splash with a small amount of the blue and I've colored a small amount in a slightly darker shade. Now for the modeling paste, I'm actually using the pasta model by Saracino. So this is just slightly firmer than fondant. If you don't have something like this, you could also mix a small amount of gum paste in with your fondant or even some tylo powder just to firm it up slightly. Now the finished trainer weighs about 65 grams so you need around 30 grams of the white, 30 grams of the turquoise and just a small amount of the darker shade. I've then got my non-slip mat just so that I can roll out the white and you'll be able to see it on camera. I've got some edible glue, some corn flour to stop that modeling paste sticking. I've got some satin silver edible luster dust, which I'll be using with some dipping solution. I've got a small piping nozzle. So this is a number three piping nozzle. I've got my craft knife, my Dresden tool, and also this modeling tool with this roller on the end. I've got some paint brushes, a my rolling pin, a tissue or if you've got some cotton wool and also just a small weighing scales so that I can give you the weights for some of the pieces. Lastly I've created a printable template for all the pieces that we're going to need so I will put a link to this in the description below the video so you can go over there and print it out cut out all the pieces so you're ready to make the trainers yourself. Okay so I've cut out all of the different pieces that we're going to be using and I'm actually going to start with the sole of the shoe. As it is, this is the sole of the shoe for the right foot. If you do want to create the left shoe, you just want to flip this over. So I'm going to start with some of that white modeling paste. Now if you ever wonder what the difference is between modeling paste, gum paste and fondant, I will put a link in the description below to a recent video that I did where I go through all the differences. If you find that your modeling paste is sticky and you just want to pop down a small amount of corn flour. Now we want to keep the sole of the shoe quite thick as we're going to be using the edge to stick a lot of the pieces onto. So we want this to be around four to five millimeters in thickness. I'm then going to place on my template and we want to cut that out. Now modeling paste can be quite stretchy and you might find if you're trying to cut it out, it starts to stretch in all different directions. So one tip would be just to score around to start with. And then once you've got those marks, you can go in and it's a lot easier to cut out. You'll see on the templates, I've added these small little gray marks and these are center marks. And it's gonna enable us to line the different pieces up. So I'm gonna use my craft knife, just to add those marks in. And these will eventually be covered up. And they're gonna go around the edge, just neatening that up. So that's gonna give us the sole of our shoe. Now we want a piece which is around five grams and shape it into a kind of kidney shape. Place this on the front of my shoe, just so it will give us something for the front of that shoe just to form over. And the next piece is gonna be the tongue of the shoe. I'm gonna do this out of the turquoise color. We don't want this piece to be as thick as the sole. So around one to two millimeters in thickness will be thick enough. And again, cut that out. Now I'm gonna use my craft knife and my finger just to go in and neaten up that edge. Again, on this template, we have this little gray mark. So I'm gonna add that on and just push deep enough so that we can see it. I'm then going to take some edible glue and just paint around the front of that sole and also just over the front extra piece that we added. Now so that you don't get any glue on the board that you're using I've got a small piece of parchment paper. Now on the front I can just see that faint mark that I added to show me where the center is. Line this up 
with the center of this one and at the bottom just wrap that around pushing that onto that edible glue and you can go in with your dresden tool just making sure that it's pushed all the way down I'm going to take some of that tissue paper and just prop that inside just to hold that tongue up while we work on the rest. I've then got the template piece that says front of shoe or the toe of the shoe. So I'm going to roll out a small amount of white modelling paste and we want this the same thickness as that tongue. So around one to two millimetres. Again, adding in the little centre mark. Now I'm going to flip this bit over and just cover the back in some edible glue. Bring back in my shoe so far and just lining up that mark on the front, pull it down onto the front of the shoe. So I've got the template that says the main part of the shoe. We have the center mark and we also have some guides on here to where we want to add some detail. I've then also got a strip that's called back detail. So I'm going to cut both of these out of the turquoise. Now I'm going to start with a smaller piece and I'm just using the rotary modeling tool that just has these teeth cut out. So I'm just going to run this up both sides. I'm then going to just pop this piece to one side while we work on the main piece. First of all, I'm going to run around this top edge. On the template, I've also put some diagonal marks in. So you can see where they need to go from the guide. So I'm actually going to use my ruler. So there we have the little detail lines. Then want to add in some little silver rings for where we're going to add the shoelaces. So I've got my really small weigh-in scales and I just want six little balls of white modeling paste, which are around 0.9 to 0.1 each. Or if you don't have any little scales, it's a small little ball of around four millimeters in diameter. And just push on the top just to make them small little discs. Then got my piping tip. So this is the number three and we just have this small little circle opening at the end. And I'm gonna use this to cut out the center of those discs. And you can make your shoes any color, but I'm actually gonna color these in silver so that they look like they're made of metal. So I've got my silver luster dust and I'm just adding a small amount of dipping solution to turn this into a paint. Now, if you didn't want to use a dipping solution, I do have a video showing different things that you can add to luster dust to make an edible paint. And I will link this in the description below. So I'm just going to use a really small paintbrush and just paint those in silver. Now, bringing back in the piece of my shoe and also my template, I'm going to lay my template over the top and just using my Dresden tool, just push into the center of where I've Put the circles just to give me a rough guide on the surface to where they need to go. Now I want the holes to go all the way through so again I'm going to take that piping nozzle and just push into the centre. I'm then going to bring back in my shoe so far and I'm just going to take that tissue out just for a second so as you can see that modelling paste has already started to firm up. And using some edible glue, just come in to where that white section starts. Go all the way around the edge. Now matching up the little center point at the back, wrap it all the way around. Just pushing that down, bring it round and just maneuver the tongue into place. And I can add a little bit of edible glue just down the side of that tongue, just pushing those two pieces together. Just take some of that tissue paper and just pop that inside just to help the shoe keep its shape. I've then got that extra detail part that we had. So I'm just going to place it on the back and work out how high I want it to come. So I'm going to add a little bit of edible glue, fold that top over about a centimetre just to create a little loop. Add some more edible glue and where we've got that centre mark just bring it up the back of the shoe. 
So I've rolled out some more of that white modeling paste and I've got two pieces of my template. Two long strips, one says a side of shoe and the other one is the front of the shoe. So I'm gonna cut both of these bits out and if we're cutting long strips, sometimes it's easier just to use a ruler to help make sure they're nice and straight. With the shorter piece, we just wanna add a little bit of detail. So first of all, I'm gonna take that rotary modeling tool and I'm just gonna run two lines down the center and these are just gonna be on the front of the shoe. I'm then gonna take some of that darker turquoise that I colored and I wanna roll this into a really thin sausage. Now you could do this purely by rolling it out with your hands. What I like to do is actually use a paddle smoother. So you wanna get it quite thin and then if you just roll over the top, this is just gonna help you get the same thickness all the way down and it's gonna stop you getting any finger marks. So you want this to be around one to two millimeters in diameter so that it fits up against the top of that white piece just at the edges, just taper it down. I'm then gonna flip that over and cover the whole thing in some edible glue. Now I want this to run all the way around the front with that darker turquoise at the top. Work out the center before I push it down. It's gonna come a little bit further on the side than that white toe piece. With the next strip, I'm gonna do exactly the same. So flip that over and add on some edible glue. And I want this to run around the rest of my shoe. So there we have the little shoe so far. So I'm gonna add some detail onto the side and also pop in the shoelaces. For the shoelaces, I'm rolling out some of that white modeling paste to around one millimeter in thickness. I then want three small strips that are around half a centimeter in width each. I'm gonna cut one end. So for my first piece, I'm just gonna hold it on my shoe and I just want it to go from one side to the other. Now you could put a bow in. I'm just gonna have these shoelaces come in straight across. Take each piece and just on the end, pull it into a slight point. I'm then gonna take some edible glue and pop it inside each of those silver rings. And then starting at the bottom and using my Dresden tool just to push it in, I'm gonna push one end into the center of that disc pulling it over and pushing in the other side and doing the same with the other two. So that it looks like those shoelaces have been tied and the ends are inside the shoe. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of detail onto the side. Now you can add any detail you like to the side. I'm gonna add a round disc and I'm actually gonna pop a heart in the center. You could add a star or even an initial using a small little cutter. So I've got a small amount of white modeling paste and I'm gonna roll this quite thin and using a circle cutter or I'm going to use the end of my piping nozzle so this one is around a centimeter and a half in diameter I've then got a small ball of the darker turquoise now this is around half a centimeter across or 0.2 grams now you could also use a plunger cutter if you have one but I'm just going to taper it down on one side into a point and just push that so that it's flat and then use my Dresden tool and in the middle just push in a little dent and just shape that into a little heart I'm going to glue that into the center of my disc before sticking it to the outside of my shoe. So there we have the finished little trainer. You then wanna leave this to one side for that modeling paste to firm up so that the shoe will keep its shape. Once it's keeping its shape and all of that edible glue has dried, we can take that parchment paper off the bottom and also remove the tissue paper from inside. And just by flipping that template over for the sole of the shoe, we can also create one for the other side. So we have a little matching pair of baby trainers that you can add 
to the top of your cake. Now, when I was creating the templates for these, I have sized them up so that these will fit perfectly on a six inch cake. Now, if you were doing a slightly bigger cake, you could just enlarge the template slightly, or again, if doing a smaller one, you could just shrink it down. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will be able to use it to make your own pair of baby booties to add onto your cakes. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and you haven't already, then don't forget you can subscribe to the Cakes by Lynn's YouTube channel. You can also hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button and this will just alert you every time we upload a new video. Now I'll put links in the description below to the template and also to all the tools that I've used throughout today's video so you can find those there. So until next time, bye!